Okay, welcome back to the vlog. Today I want to talk about something which annoyed me. There was a video by somebody called Thunderfoot who basically put me in their video, which, you know, that's fine and everything. What I'm a little bit annoyed about is it was all out of context. And what they tried to do was a takedown video on somewhere where I used to work. What they basically did was they bent things such that you could take something and turn it into something different, which was not accurate. Um, now, I, I can actually show you a example of what I mean. Right, I'm going to take... Okay, if I just get the exact wording. Got the thing so I can just read it out here. Because I want to make sure I get this verbatim to demonstrate what it is that this guy Thunderfoot does. So, this is Thunderfoot. Bear in mind, this guy is supposedly educating the masses on whatever it is he talks about. Um, but he tries to do it in such a way that in theory it's all science-based and undisputable and things like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you the words from June the 25th, 2018, from Thunderfoot's own video. It's always bugged me that when people claim the universe is finely tuned for life, if you look out on the night sky, you will see it is black very black, with some distant pinpricks of light. This is one of the brightest places in the universe, and it's still almost completely black. Now, anybody that does anything to do with science will know that, you know, the wavelength range of a human eye, anything that's outside of that, you're not going to say it's black. That has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not the universe can sustain life or how well tuned it is for life. Yeah, like there are radio waves and light and things going through me. I can't see them. It doesn't mean they're not there. It does not change the environment that I'm in. But just because I can't see it with my eyeballs doesn't make it any less, you know, any less of a thing. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm deliberately bending using Thunderfoot's own words, a narrative. And this is kind of important in what happened here with this uh, spectroscopy story that he tried to do. So, you know, just to quickly go over, for those that don't know, spectroscopy is basically the science of measuring light at different wavelengths to try and determine what something that you're shining the light off of or where the light is emanating from, trying to work out its constituency, whether it's a star, because that will generate light and you can tell whether it's burning helium or hydrogen or whatever. Or it could be, you know, you're firing light at a plastic or something to try and work out what type of plastic it is. I mean, there's various different reasons that you would use spectroscopy. And this is not something that's new. It's been around forever. Pretty much since Isaac Newton used a prism to separate out light into its constituent parts, the idea of spectroscopy pretty much was born there and then, and it wasn't very long until people were basically using a Bunsen burner, two telescopes and a prism to try and work out what things are made of when you burn them. So, you know, this is not new. And if you understand that somehow we went from using cameras that required film to we have digital cameras that have a sensor that counts the photons that are coming in at various points on the picture, you will understand that in spectroscopy the same thing has happened. You know, we've gone from Bunsen burners and telescopes to there are now sensors that are measuring light at different wavelengths and, you know, that gives you a digital signal. So, when you look at the people making these types of sensors, you've got you know, people like Hamamatsu, who, for instance, also built the sensors that found the Higgs boson. Now, you know, Thunderfoot is trying to basically say that this is all hokey and you know, there's no way that people can do uh, handheld spectroscopy and things like this. But you know, these same players are doing handheld spectroscopy. You know, other players like Texas Instruments, AMS, like, you know, everybody is doing it. FOSS is even doing it. Um, you know, you've got big pharma, you've got big... Uh, agro, everybody is into handheld spectroscopy. So, you know, the big difference is how willing are you to go to a consumer level? Now, in the same way that I can buy a consumer camera, it's going to have less pixels, probably less color definition than if I was to drop, say, a hundred thousand dollars on the camera. Like, you know, this is pretty much common sense. 
So, you know, the idea that uh, somehow it's not going to go to a consumer level and not going to be handheld, I mean, you know, what Thunderfoot is basically saying is preposterous. Yeah, but that wasn't really where my beef is here. Where my beef is, there is a time before and after I worked for Telspec, and I'm not going to talk about that, but there is a piece of video that showed up where I'm at Telspec. So when I'm talking about one particular model of spectrometer that uses one particular method of spectroscopy, and then he's got another video with a different model using a different proposed methodology, like, no, you're, you're mixing apples and oranges here. That's like me saying that, uh, you know, astronomy is totally wrong because they started putting, you know, Earth at the centre and the stars went round the Earth. But, you know, over time, that model has been changed. And, you know, so if you're going to tell a story, at least tell it correctly. This really started to annoy me. Yeah, I basically want to point out that, you know, there are going to be people who they don't have the mental capacity to work out that what they're being spun is a story. It's not entirely accurate and it's out of context to make it look really, really sensationalist. If you spin stuff like that, then you basically know better than, for instance, the pandos of the world and, you know, journalists like that who, you know, they will tell one story based on one thread of information they have, but totally miss the rest of the tapestry. And so, you know, this is my problem here. I do think that, give it time, these spectrometers, they're going to disappear inside other devices. Like, you know, the idea of a handheld spectrometer is going to be as probably as foreign as the idea of a handheld GPS. You know, <laughs> it's now something you find inside a phone or you find inside of you know, a, a car or, you know, it's a component inside something bigger. The same thing's going to happen to spectrometers. Like, they're going to disappear. They won't go away. They'll just be inside something else. And, you know, the race is pretty much on. And this is where all the big companies, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Texas Instruments or whoever, they're all racing to that same goal. So for you to basically have this guy basically poo-poo the whole thing, like, no, you're, you're comparing apples to oranges. And, you know, I will say this, though, and this is a, like, a totally personal view. This is not connected to any company I've ever worked for in the past, present or future. Uh, but, you know, I do think that SIO did oversell to the consumers what it was capable of. And, of course, you know, if you overpromise under deliver, that is always going to cause a problem. So, you know, I will say that much. But that's a personal opinion. It is an opinion. And, you know, the one thing I love about YouTube is the fact that, you know, everybody can voice their opinion. They can say what their side of the story is. And so, you know, what I'm hoping here is that those who maybe saw the Thunderfoot video and thought, wow, this seems really, really crazy. It's like, yeah, no, what you're being so what you're being shown here is a story slightly out of context. So, you know, really, I guess to sort of wind this up, what you're seeing is a inaccurate representation of what was going on. Like, you know, I was on the inside, I was CTO at Telspec and uh, you know for a couple of years. And you know there is a bigger thing going on than people realize. Now, obviously, I can't talk about Telspec in particular, NDAs, everything else. Like, you know, I don't want to get my ass sued off here. Um, but, you know, what I can say is that, you know, this story was totally wrong. And so I'm hoping that, you know, by putting my voice out here, I know there's going to be some people that will be very, very disappointed. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, hopefully seeing this will understand that, you know what, don't believe everything you see on the Internet. <laughs> like, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a big world out there. People will sell you a story if it furthers their narrative. So anyway, um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up there. If you like these videos, thumbs up. If you don't like them, thumbs down. And I'm sure after this one, the Thunderfoot army are going to be thumbs down all over this one. But um, yeah, if you want to see more, hit subscribe and speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.